was one of the unluckiest. First, Jacques Villeneuve, who had a good opening part of the race, crashes into barrier. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are opening our fresh season with Australian Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the starting grid. At row 11 we have both Minaris, Spanish rookie Marc Genet's 22nd and his partner Luke Vidoua's 21st. Right in front of them is Olivier Panis from Prost and another freshman Ricardo Zonto on BAR. Row 9th has been occupied by Eros, Spanish newcomer Pedro de la Rosa is 18th and his teammate Toro Takagi is 17th. Zalbis Gianni Lacy is 16th and Alessandro Zanari who is making his return to Formula 1 is 15th. Another Zalba Pedro Dinis is 14th and Johnny Hamilton Stewart is 13th. Row 6 is Prost Yana Trulli and 97 world champion Jacques Villeneuve. Benetton's Alexander Woods is 10th and 96 world champion Diamond Hill is 9th. Williams' new driver Ralph Schumacher is 8th, Giancarlo Fisichelli is 7th. Next is Ferrari's Eddie Irvine in 6th position, Jordan's Heinz Holtz Fransman 5th. Rubens Barrichello managed to qualify 4th and 2 time world champion Michael Schumacher is 3rd. First row consists of two light and fast McLarens. Devil Kuchel is second and reigning world champion Mika Hakkinen has taken the pole position. Catastrophic coincidence for Stewart. Both of their cars are human. And if Rubens Barrichello this means that he's at least going to start at the end of greed in reserve car, then for Johnny Herbert it's already checked flag. Second attempt to make formation lap wasn't much better. Hakkinen and Schumacher had issues, but Mika managed to cross the line before the last car, so he is allowed to return to pole. But Michael will have to start from last row. Final race begins, but not even one lap pass and we are losing two more cars. Jeanne Lays and Prost and Damon Hill and Jordan are forced to retire from the race. Lap 13 was one of the unluckiest. First, Jacques Villeneuve, who had a good opening part of the race, crashes into barrier and he is out. And then, surprisingly, David Coulthard has to quit due to gearbox issues. Safety cars on the track. And this has completely neutralized all the advantage that Hakkinen managed to gain. But this was only the icing on the cake, as during restart McLaren is unable to accelerate, which allows Evine and the company to overtake reigning world champion. Despite all his attempts to stay on track, Alessandro Zanardi crashes into the wall, which forces safety car to appear again. At the same lap, second McLaren is coming back to pits to peacefully retire. After marvelous qualification, complete disaster happened in the race. Team from Walking has a lot to work on before Interlagos. Both leading cars, Ivan and Franson, have simultaneously driven to the pits. Barrichello, who had all the ingredients for race to be a daylight nightmare, overtakes De La Rosa for fifth place. Even though Jordan's hindsight Franson was close, Eddie Evine was laser focused and didn't make any mistakes. Therefore, this debut race of the season is also Eddie's one made in victory in Formula 1. Phenomenal start of 1999 for Eddie. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to sum up the results of the first Grand Prix of the season. Eddie Evine has taken his maiden Formula 1 victory. Heinz Harald Frensen is second, and Ralph Schumacher has finished third. Only four other drivers managed to score some points today. Giancarlo Fisichelli is fourth, Rubens Barrichello fifth, Pedro de la Rosa sixth, Tornasuke Tokagi seventh, and Michael Schumacher has finished eighth and scored the best slap of the race, thus gaining the extra point. And speaking about Constructors Championship, Ferrari has taken the lead, scoring 30 points. Jordan is second with 18, and Williams is short with only 3 points behind. I've got to give a credit to Eros. Phenomenal double points finish today has allowed him to climb over Benton and Stewart, who have also gained double digits. This was Australian Grand Prix 1999. Next race is going to be almost a month later in Brazil, but don't worry, time will fly with a blink of an eye.